The owner wanted us to replace one piece of masonite siding on his outside wall near the deck. So when we pulled the one piece of siding off, we found that everything kind of underneath was in poor condition, including the band board and uh, the flashing had been undermined by the chemicals in the treated lumber underneath. So this is the back side of the siding. Something's been eating at it. I don't know what, but it really wasn't any good. And here's a closer view of the band board. So we got to work getting it fixed. Once it was determined we were gonna to have to do extensive work on the house, the first step was to take five boards off so we would have an area to work. Um, this is the joist <coughs> and the band board right there at uh, where the door is. Um, this is the sill plate. The sill plate is okay. Um, this is the very end of the joist, just one joist. You can see it's got a little bit of rot there on the very end. It's not terrible. Um, we can fix this one <coughs> pretty easily because it's not much rot. You know, maybe cut a joist that's about um, three or four feet long and just, you know, lay it in beside of there. So that's no big deal. The floor does not look rotten. That's excellent. I'm going to move my way down a little bit. This is the next joist pocket down. This is the um, sill plate and it looks fine. And the joist end has got a little bit of <coughs> discoloration, but I wouldn't be worried about it structurally. I'm gonna move my way down the other side. This is the joist pocket <coughs> right over top of the crawl door. And what we're looking at is the outside of the band board, which we know is rotten. And then right under on the top of that is the floor. And the floor's got a little bit of rot. This is the next joist pocket down over, still over top of the <coughs> crawl door. Um, everything looks good in here. There's no rot at all. Um, very, very little discoloration. Uh, the sill plate. You can see a little bit of discoloration here at the very bottom of the joist, uh, but it is not structural, it's just a stain. Okay, I think we're getting near <clears throat> the end of where the door is above. In this joist pocket, you can see there's some discoloration here at the bottom of the joist. <coughs> also at the top of the joist where the water is coming in. Okay, I'm down on the, from the crawl door, one, two, three, third joist pocket down. You can see here, this is probably the worst one. Um, uh, definitely the band board. Um, this is a little bit better view of the same um, joist pocket. I'm poking in this area here with a with a little prod. <coughs> Doesn't seem like there's anything we need to do structurally. The sill plate is fine. The band board, of course, is really not much left of that. <coughs> This is the next, um, the next joist pocket down. It's the same one. The bottom of the joist is discolored and the band board is, is um, compromised, but the silk plate is okay. And the floor doesn't look bad. The first step is to cut the deck loose from the house and we built a support beam underneath to hold it up permanently. Then we take the band board off in small pieces one piece at a time to get rid of the rotted band board. I went back under the house to check on some things and found we had a visitor. This is the area underneath the sill and we had to cut this out and piece in some new treated lumber underneath the sill. The area underneath the operating door had a double band board. So we put that in first, and then we started working in the other band board all the way down the side of the house. We use non-metallic flashing because metallic flashing reacts chemically with the chemicals in the treated lumber. <laughs> 